Hello everybody, welcome back to another review made by Optic Street. Today I have here binoculars from Kova, uh, from the newest series BD2, uh, XD in configuration 8x42. So Kova has been around for a long time. They started their production of sport optics in around 1952. Uh, with spotting scopes first, and then they introduced binoculars, uh, equipment for digiscoping, and other uh, optical products. Uh, they are a Japanese company, and they really focus on environmental safety and energy conservation uh, when producing uh, all of their range of products. So BD2 XD series, as I said, is newly introduced. Uh, it came out in 2019, but it only hit the market last year in 2020. Uh, so it's quite a novelty on the market. Um, so Kova um, calls this series a wide angle XD lens series. Uh, later on, I will tell you why. Uh, you probably know that they all have a really, really wide field of view. So there are five models in the series. We have compact ones, 6.5 by 32, which is a real rarity currently on the market. Uh, I don't think there's a single one binocular beside that one uh, with 6.5 um, magnification. Uh, then we have 8 and 10 by 32, and then full size models 8 by 42 and 10 by 42. Um, because this is not specifically made for hunters, uh, we don't have any uh, low light uh, low light binoculars. So with a fifty six millimeter lens, but maybe maybe they'll uh, add it um, eventually to the series. Uh, so full sized configuration eight by forty two are this uh, model I have here. They are made in China, as all other binoculars in the series. Uh, we have the weight of 640 grams, the same as it, said, as it says on the box. Um, they are 14 centimeters long and 13 centimeters wide and around 5 centimeters uh, in height. So the design Let's first talk about the design. It's quite normal, nothing out of the ordinary, I think. Uh, it has some nice lines here, uh, soft and smooth rubber, uh, green color, um, and no real special touches. I would say these don't look anything special. If at first sight I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't say th that these are priced at 500 euros. Um, they, I, I would think they are more affordable. Um, so maybe that's the thing I don't like the most here uh, is the plain design. But we do have magnesium housing uh, with tactical rubber armor layer. Uh, that's why they feel quite reliable and durable. Uh, I think they would be able to withstand harsh conditions, like really extreme cold. Um, we have schmidt packen roof prisms, so uh, the axis of eyepieces and objective lenses are aligned. Um, inside we have Kova XD lenses, uh, which is um, high-grade ED uh, lenses. Uh, and on the outer lenses we have coatings uh, KR. Uh, which protects from dirt and other foreign residue uh, on the lenses. They are fully waterproof and fogproof, uh, filled with nitrogen gas, a dry nitrogen, uh, so the fogging doesn't occur uh, in the internal uh, parts of these binoculars. Um, and Kova states they're using uh, pure fluoride crystal uh, in the manufacture of their optical lenses. Uh, fluoride crystal, uh, crystal is uh, set to deliver the best weaving experience available today on the market, uh, eliminating virtually all chromatic aberration. So optically, 
um, these binoculars are really, really outstanding. Uh, really sharp image, colors are full of contrast and vivid. Uh, and thanks to the really wide field of view, uh, these give you a, quite a wow effect when you first put them on. Uh, so field of view is at 143 meters, at 1000 meters. Um, so really wide. Um, it has a bit of fishbowl effect, uh, which is which not doesn't suit most you. Uh, sorry, um, many users. Um, but you have to try them to see if you like that or if you hate it. I personally don't mind it. Uh, so um, yeah. Um, because of the wild field of view, these are um, great for those users who would like to spot some wildlife. Um, amazing they have amazing close focusing distance of only 1.8 meters, uh, which is quite incredible. You can observe objects far away and at the same time look for smaller objects that are closer to you. Uh, basically, all the models in this series have amazing close focusing distance. So with 42 uh, millimeters, uh, we have 8.8, 8, uh, sorry, 1.8 meters. And with 32 models, uh, we have eight, uh, 1.5 uh, meters. Um, so basically, these monoculars are perfect for um, all round use. Uh, observing birds, uh, nature around you, uh, even hunting, thanks to the uh, color and great optical performance. Uh, I think this would also suit most hunters. Um, they are also perfect for astronomy users, thanks to the wide uh, field view, so you can spot uh, any objects in the sky quite easily. Now let's talk about focusing. Uh, a fluid aluminum focusing wheel here. Uh, it's nicely located. I think it's easily accessible with your finger. Uh, the turning is quite smooth, nice. Uh, it's quite a quick focus, so more suitable for bird watchers, uh, where you have to quickly adjust the focus as the objects are mm, constantly moving uh, at different distances. It's about one one point five, uh, so one and a half uh, turns, and we have diopter uh, adjustment ring here located under the uh, right eyepiece. Let's talk about eye cups, uh, which is um, a good thing, really great designly, uh, gr uh, greatly designed thing with these binoculars. Uh, rounded eye cups made out of rubber. Uh, they seem really sturdy, durable. Uh, the turning is really nice. Uh, they have uh, quite a few in between positions. So we have the first one, second one, third one, and fourth one. Uh, so um, they are suitable for different users. I also asked my teammates who wear glasses um, if they are comfortable to use. And they all said that they uh, really enjoyed using them, that the viewing was uh, really comfortable um, and the um, eye cups were comfortably pressed against their glasses. Um, yeah, so they also have quite secure position. Um, they really hold the position well. I don't think they would move out of the position quite easily. So that's also quite a good thing. Um, with the eye cups. Uh, now let's talk about some accessories that come with purchasing these binoculars. So you get them in this soft case. Here inside. Um, there's no strap for the case. Um, there is a belt loop. Um, so here you have some pockets. It's a nice bag. Uh, it's it it well, well protects your uh, binoculars. Then we have a padded strap for uh, the binoculars, so to carry them around your neck. Rubber objective lens covers. 
uh, which can be detached from the barrels. Um, we have also rubber eyepiece covers to protect your eyepieces. The rubber is average. It's not, it's durable, but it's not amazing. Uh, then we have instructions in um, multiple languages. Um, we have English, uh, German, French, uh, Spanish. Um, so multiple languages uh, and they are the same instructions for all their models. And then we have the var uh, warranty card, sorry. Um, so Kova um, gets you a 10 years warranty. And with registering your um, product online, you get five years more. So in total, 15 years, uh, which is quite a, a really good war warranty for um, binoculars that are made in China. Um, so these are priced at um, 469 euros currently. Uh, Kova says about these that they are affordable without compromise. Uh, and I, I can agree with this, um, with this saying because uh, up until now, we were really amazed by GPO's ED binoculars, which are a direct competitor in this uh, price class. Uh, to Kova, um, but now they they received a real, real good competitor. Uh, so we have great build quality, magnesium housing, uh, amazing optical performance, really, really nice uh, view, um, wide field of view, uh, outstanding close focus distance of uh, 1.8 meters, long war warranty period, and lastly, really, really nice eye cups um, for this price class, I think. Um, maybe some disadvantages or the things that could be improved with the next generation. Um, to maybe pay more attention to the housing, uh, to the, sorry, design. Because basically the design for me, it's quite plain. Some people will like it, some won't. Um, maybe some special nice features here um, on the uh, on the outer um, so for the outer appearance um, I think from afar you wouldn't know that they are Kova binoculars uh, sorry I forgot you can also attach a tripod here under this uh, screw you have a um, so you can attach the adapter and then um, put them on a tripod. Um, and the last maybe disadvantage is that they are a bit, there uh, are a few blue lines around on the edges. Um, but when you adjust uh, them to your eyes uh, perfectly, there is not that many, uh, that much uh, blue tint anymore. Um, but as I said, overall, uh, these are really amazing for the price. Uh, so GPO has a competitor now uh, in this price class. Um, and given the price, um, these are really, really a great buy. So that's everything for this review. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have many other videos on all other binoculars in various price ranges, uh, so be sure to check them out and see you in the next review. Bye!